We are out today at Willow Springs International Raceway. So if you've either been here from Southern California, it's kind of a home track for a lot of us, or if you play Gran Turismo or any sort of sim, it's often here. Uh, today I'm here with Will in his CRX. So that thing is really rad. Currently has a front wheel drive, a uh, naturally aspirated record here at Streets of Willow. Uh, if you don't know, uh, or aren't from around here, Willow Springs has uh, quite a few different tracks and facilities here for us to learn, uh, test, and do different sorts of racing. There's two oval tracks, one here, one over there. Uh, there's the Streets of Willow, the Horse Thief Mile up there where all the drifters are. And of course, Big Willow's over on the other side of streets, uh, the big track. So this place is kind of great for us to learn as much as we can about a car, develop it. That's why I personally love this place. The oval is good for testing a lot of lateral G, what the car does, transient, uh, what the car does in transient conditions with the figure eights. Like you can see Will doing it back there, uh, or you might not be able to because my car is in the way. Uh, and then the streets of Willow is really tough. It's super bumpy, hard on the suspension. So if you have a car that handles really well, it really pays off there, which is why that car is so fast. It makes no power, but it handles incredibly well. So it's really quick there. Then you have the big track where you can test your aero, your high speed stability, um, kind of how the car behaves when you have a high horsepower track. And the balcony is great for doing skid pad testing like we're gonna do in a little bit uh, and that kind of stuff. So this place is great. I love it. It's kind of my second home. And yeah, Will, uh, if you don't know who he is, Will Dries, really, really good driver. He's had quite a few cars like the Spoon Euro R, which has kind of made the rounds lately in Southern California. He drove it, you know, built it. Uh, he has an NSX, which is also a really cool car that was, you know, one of the cars that actually inspired me to buy mine. Uh, and his latest project is this CRX. So, pretty crazy car. Um, he's very methodical, does, builds things right, in my opinion. So it's really cool to be involved in this project. He brought me on board to kind of help him get the last 10 dents out of it. So, we're doing that now. All the shit that was melting off. Yeah. Now it just gets rubber flung into the um, in the belly pan, and then it slides against the header. And oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see like all the little bits down at the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right there, and it just slides against the header. This thing takes a beating though, I'm like in these temps.
So we are all done for the day. Got all of the data that we needed. We spent a bit of time here on the skid pad, probably where we did the majority of it. And then spent some time on the oval, just kind of getting a baseline of uh, a lap time there. And some little extra data that we wanted, practiced a couple of things. Uh, overall, very good day, productive. Uh, got here nice and early, so we're gonna get out of here. It's about noon now. Uh, got all the information that we needed. Will is loading up. He's got his process and yeah, then we're gonna get out of here.